Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Margaret of Cortona. A peasant girl of exceptional beauty, Saint Margaret was born at Laviano in Tuscany, Italy. Having lost her mother at the tender age of 7, she was raised by an unsympathetic stepmother from whom she eventually ran away to become the mistress of a young nobleman named Arsenio from Montepulciano who lured her with the promise of marriage. She lived with him in ostentatious luxury for 9 years in the course of which she bore him a son. Ironically, it was the discovery of a lover's murdered body hidden in the woods that shocked her into conversion to a life of prayer, severe penance and mortification. Margaret joined the third order of Saint Francis while her son who was taken in by two charitable women himself went on to become a Franciscan friar under the spiritual guidance of fathers John de Castiglioni and Guinta Bevignati she advanced in holiness caring zealously for the poor and the sick she founded a hospital at Cortona and a congregation of tertiary sisters the Poverelle a confraternity of our lady of mercy to support it margaret was also known to be the recipient of many extraordinary graces margaret often acted as peacemaker even admonishing erring prelates incidentally toward the end of her life she became the target of malicious propaganda nevertheless after 29 years of such trials and temptations and much prayer and penance She was assured by our Lord who called her my daughter that all her sins would be forgiven. As the morning of the 22nd of February 1297 dawned, the soul of Margaret passed into the unveiled presence of God to receive the reward for which she had so earnestly striven all her life. She died with a jubilant heart and an angel-like countenance. Margaret, whose body to this date remains incorrupt and is venerated in a church at Cortona was canonized by Pope Benedict the 13th on the 16th of May 1728